gods who are not cultured at all. Stop dick riding. I don't want to hear, like, when I'm asking general questions, I'm not asking y'all niggas. Stop dick riding. Y'all niggas is, is black. You're black. You're, you're just black. Just be yourself and hit them with hey. Also, I just bow the anarchy hoodie yesterday. Can't wait. Finna resubscribe in a little W female viewer. Big two months, December 9th. Thank you so much. Bro, you're just fully American. You're African American, bro. That's it. How was that see you in 30? I thought, oh, that, that wasn't an insult. That was strictly, you're black. You're not Trinidadian. You're not Jamaican. You're not African. You're not, you're not, word. You're not Ghanaian. You're not Dominican. You're not Puerto Rican. You're not Cuban. You are American. I farted so loud. We should really do some research between the pipeline of black men influencers or content creators who are popular and deemed funny, even if they're not comedians. But like at first they start out funny and genuine and everyone loves them because they seem to be a genuine guy, like King Batch or whatever. And then slowly, little by little, they start promoting and perpetuating like stereotypes that are harmful to the black community. Like until that becomes their entire personality because it would be tragic if people start basically associating kai sanat's kind of like content with king batches because no one likes king batches content going back to the prior statement however i can tell you for sure that even though i never went out of my way to see kai sanat whenever i saw him i never knew that he was caribbean i never knew that he was in fact haitian his father being haitian and his mother being from trinidad out of all the times I've seen Kaisen out of my For You page, I have never once seen him promote Haitian culture as something he's directly part of. I've always seen him dibble-dabble in other people's cultures, and when I saw him talk about Haitian culture, I would assume that he was not Haitian himself. Because everything he seems to know about certain cultures is very limited, and probably on a surface level. And while we can blame the parents or whatever, he's a grown man with money and resources. He can learn if he wanted to. So that being said, for a guy who dibble-dabbles in other people's culture and seems to be disconnected from his own two Caribbean cultures, um, he seems to have a lot of opinions about a culture that he consistently takes advantage of every day. And when we're talking about African American culture, what do you think we're talking about? We're talking about everything, right? Look at the clothes he wears. Look at how he talks. Look at his hair. Look at the people he's invited on his stream. You say African Americans have no culture, yet your styles come from them. You say African Americans have no culture, yet your favorite artists and musicians are African American. Your favorite genres of music was probably started by a black man in America, an African American. And while I'm not African American, so this is not gonna hit me nearly as hard as it hits them, because they constantly have to deal with these anti-black remarks from other people, including other black people like Kai Sanat. I'm just going to say that I'm not gonna let the nigga that knows nothing about his culture define what other cultures are. You wanna scream and shout that African Americans have no culture? What's Haitian culture? What's Trinidadian culture? Like, you don't know anything about your culture either, nigga. You don't have the bandwidth to have this conversation. Kai hey guys, so, um, did y'all see Kai Sanat? Basically, he's going viral for a couple of things right now. Number one, well, the most recent is he paid a, a OF girl for some cookie. 5k and she exposing him he talking about he's suing her and taking her to court she called him baby p diddy because he was also trying to traffic her to his friends yeah that's not a good look that's not a good look at all and then also he's trending for saying that african americans have no culture because he's from haiti and in, in jamaica or wherever trini whatever his mother is Shouts out to his mom and his sister. No disrespect to them because I seen the little Nicki Minaj joint that he did and they had good energy. But I'm just so over black folk, colored folk, melanin rich folk is the term that I like to use from other places that come here, that migrate here, that would have not been able to do so had it not been for my forefathers because I am full American. You wouldn't have been able to do that. You wouldn't have been able to come here and set up shop like y'all a lot of them think they're so much better and i think it's absolutely disgusting because we legit are the blueprint we legit have rich culture that everybody soaks up some of our culture everybody not just other colored folk like folks from all over the world hip-hop culture is very very prevalent the foods that we eat the way that we dress our style our vernacular is so 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 used like come on every a lot of people cosplay quote unquote black Americans. They have not had the same plight in their country. They swear they're better, but they continuously come over here like, stay where you're from if you're better than Americans, black Americans specifically. You wanna see some somebody uphold white supremacy? Go and look for 
a, a quote unquote black melanin rich person that don't come from the states. And, and y'all see what I'm talking about. And now, clearly not all, not all, but a lot of them do this. And, and it's, it's like corny. We, we, we lit, we the blueprint. Keep it. Welcome back. The Bad Bad Podcast. I'm your host. So lots going on right now. Kai said not that black Americans have no culture. Drake and Kendrick Lamar going at it. Rick Ross is back. It's a lot of culture vulture going on in the black American society. It's a lot of disrespect in black American culture by outsiders. Get into it. So, passing that's the black American not having a culture. He's obviously cloud chasing because this is what people do when they get attention. They say black Americans, this shit goes viral all the time. It's good for the, you know, YouTube economy. So, I'm going to get into it. I'm going to pretend he really means that. Because, first of all, I'm going to say, Kassin not is, he's an immigrant, right? He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a black immigrant. Hey, this is the people that don't know me. You're talking to a son of a, a, a son of a mother who's from Trinidad and Tobago, P now the Caribbean, okay? My pops is Haitian. He's Trinidadian, Haitian. Now, now I don't body the Haitians, so I don't wanna keep beating up on a dead horse, so I ain't gonna focus on Haitian side, cause you know they eat dirt and mud. I don't wanna keep bullying, I, I'm gonna attack the Trinidadian side. I'm gonna say, let's say he, he's Trinidadian, this, even though he's half, but let's say. Yeah. There's a such thing called cultural hate, cultural envy. When all you see is black Americans getting all the praise, they are all the heroes, they did all the fighting, they did all the civil rights, the reason why you're here, the reason why you got citizenship, the reason why you're famous, it's all due because of black Americans. The phone you looking at me on was invented by a black American. The microphone I'm speaking on was invented by a black American. The, the personal computer and technology of the phone was built by a black American, right? When you have no identity. We, your culture is so insignificant. Like, see, it's, it's fair for people to say that black Americans have no culture. I'm gonna tell you why it's fair. Don't be trick. Because what, what, what does culture mean? Like we, we know the definition of culture is the food, it's the language, it's the dress, it's, 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 the, it's, the, it's the style of a group of people. I mean, who share the same things in common, right? Let's scratch all that. What, does, what do all immigrants have in common that we don't have in common? They all wanna come to America. We don't have that type of, you know, that type of, those type of feelings. We are Americans. Now, what do all immigrants have in common? Let's say black immigrants all have in common. They all barefoot. They all like, you know, was, I'm saying like in the Caribbean, they're all barefoot. They seem to be barefoot either in shanties or huts. Something black Americans cannot relate to, right? Now, what else they have in common? They have, they don't have no proximity to white people. So, when they come here, they don't. When they come here, they don't see white people as the enemy. That's why usually most bad winches are, you know, immigrants, African, Caribbean, especially the Asians, right? That's fine. Just get your bad winch on, right? What else do immigrants have in common? When they come here to America, their culture don't mean. Shit. See, see, they they all drop their culture in one generation. Black Americans go anywhere, have grandkids. There's those we can have kids in China. We can have grand. If two Black Americans have kids in anywhere in America, those kids are not dropping a culture because black American culture is so rich. It's, it's so influential that you don't want to be nothing else. Everywhere you go, they want to be nigga. It's, 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 it's black American culture. Is in Chinese? It's, it's in China. It's in Japan. It's in India. It's in, it's in, it's in all through Europe. It's been in Europe. It's in Canada. It's in, it's in all through the Caribbean. Everybody wants to be black American. Now, with that being said, most cultures are insignificant. What do you do? Let's say Caribbeans. Caribbeans, they all, just, they all eat rice, right? They all got a food with a dish with rice in it, right? And they all give Africa, you know, big respects. They they, they, they all have, have Africa in common. They're like the biggest African allies, right? Even though Africa sold them, they identify with African. And since we don't identify with Africa, they said we don't have no culture because basically I think, I think having culture has something to do with, you know, being type of African and knowing your African lineage. Fuck all that. 
We've been here thousands of years on the Native American side. We also have a, a European side. We're not Africans. I've been, I got, I got a, bu- I got a bunch of episodes saying all this. I don't want to be the same things. Just fast forward to keep, keep it moving. Black American culture is too commercial. It's too big to be considered a culture. I get it because culture for them, you know, it's, it's, it's some, you know, some dancing, some feathers, a festival, a carnival of some sort, um, some 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 Latino type of music, some 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 bullshit type of music. It's all corny. Let's just identify every culture outside Black American, especially Black, is is stupid, corny, and irrelevant. I could prove that because when they come here, they identify as ours. They want to be us. They want to dress like us. They want to do our music. They, they, there is no way for them to get on using their culture. They don't get no. See, if they had to dress like them and smell like they, they smell naturally in their environment, they would come here and get laughed at and ignored. So when you can't identify as yourself, because, 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 you know, because you're whack, your culture is whack, how you dress is whack, how you smell is funny and foul, nigga, I will hate black Americans too. I, nigga, the minute I make it, I'll say black Americans ain't shit too. Because think about it. You got to live in these people's shadow forever. Especially if you Americanized, if you was born here, anywhere you go, you're going to be looked at as a black American. So when you make it, I can see why you say oh, these niggas ain't shit in our Caribbean. Bravo. I get it. Because your culture is so infin- insignificant that you have no heroes. You have no icons. You have nothing. Like, the world could do without you. Like, I, I don't know a Trinidadian in person. And I don't need to. What significance do they have? Take a bit all the Trinidadians of the world. What do we have? We still have the same world. We won't miss nothing. I say we won't have. We won't have a Cardi B. We won't have a Nicki Minaj. We won't have a Little Kim. Because these are Trini. These are Trinidadians who made our and a Trina too. I think Trina Trinidadian. These are women immigrants who came in Black American culture and effed it up. They, they, they messed it up with they ratchet their world. You know prostitution and you know hooker ratchetness, right? These, these, this strip club mentality, these, 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 these bitches who, who, who drug people and put things in people drinks like Cardi B who they didn't get arrested for. Right now, two black Americans. Now, two black Americans away. You won't have blood banks. You won't have refrigerators. You won't have stove. You won't have AC. You won't have heat. You won't have doorknobs. You won't have, um, the pacemaker. You won't have the gas mask. You want to have game councils. You want to have the telephone. You want to have the microphone. You want to have lights. You want to have hip hop, R and B. You want to have jazz. You want to have soul. You want to have buffalo. You want to have buffalo wings. You want to have ice cream. You want to have macaroni and cheese. You want to have soul food. Sports to be dead. You want to have. You want to have the airplane. You want to have um contributions to the the railroad. The third. You want to have the third rail. You want to have civil rights. But we want to have freedom. Um, the contribution to agriculture. You know because George Washington Carver basically mastered our agriculture, so people will be starving. You want to have the vaccine. You want to have you know no vaccinations. You want to have hair products. You want to have the mop ringer. You want to have the washing machine. You want to have dry cleaning. Two thousand patents will be gone. You want to have the modern toilet. You want to have America if you have us. That's how that's how significant Black American is to the world. Without Black America, this will be the this will be the sixteen hundreds without us. Well, none of y'all Caribbeans would be in America. Y'all probably would still be slaves. Well, a lot of y'all life will be way better because we won't have so much degeneracy. We won't have so much, you know, deviancy. Like a lot of y'all got bring a lot of sexual deviancy, a lot of crime, a lot of um off coldness, a lot of cooning. Y- y'all bring a lot of negativity to American to Black American culture. Y'all y'all bring more negative than y'all bring good. We do more good, way more good. Like every ethnicity of the diaspora can eat off black Americans. Every culture in the world feeds or needs black American for something. Everyone, everyone has a phone. Everyone needs doorknobs. Everyone has a game council. Everyone needs a microphone. Like it's so much like this. Like without us, there'd be no security system, no blood transfusions, no gas masks. There'd be no stop signs. Matter of fact, you, you won't be able to change gears in your car. The steam engine wouldn't have been existed. No light bulbs, no light filament. In fact, the conveyor belt for cars wouldn't have existed because George Washington Carver invented the conveyor belt. Like, the world needs us. The world could do without a lot of you. Without most of you, the world nigga, don't need y'all. <laughs> y'all don't make the world better. Y'all are parasites and leeches. That is take. I don't add to you. I don't, you don't, you don't get the world. Nothing. Your culture only means something on your small Island in your small country. It don't mean nothing else. 
That's why your culture. That's why. That's why. That, that's why y'all can compare cultures with us because it's too big. Which I call culture. We call um. We call it ethnic. That's 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 the last little ethnic. <laughs> Black Americans have big shoes to fill. Big shoes to fill. We're giants, y'all ants. I get it. So I would hate. I would, I would hate. Listen, I, I'm not knocking y'all. Keep hating. Keep hating. Keep getting more attention. Every, every time you, you, you want to boost in your career, this us. You want some more? You want, you want some more clout? Say something about us. Can it someone that Caribbean bitch build a whole career doing this? It works. And a bunch of other Latino and Caribbeans and Africans, you know, magazines and you know, biceps and the root and all that. Y'all all need us to thrive and eat. Cause without us, nothing to talk about. Nigga, there's nothing to talk about. Y'all have no style. It's so much. Nigga, y'all will have life will be so much worse if y'all ain't have us here to fight white supremacy for y'all. Y'all don't fight it. Y'all don't. Fight. The reason y'all got any rights because because of us. The reason why y'all y- 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 can leave that country is because of us. Y'all don't help us, but watch how things start changing once we start delineating. Watch when our kids start catching on to it. Watch when the next generation catch on. Like we don't want with y'all. We're supposed to realize y'all ops and y'all coons. Watch when, watch some watch some more people wake up. It's gonna be a problem for y'all because then we gonna start advocating for rights to go against y'all. We don't want y'all having citizenship. We don't want y'all having visas. We don't want y'all working here. We don't want y'all in our communities. We don't want y'all stores. We don't want no y'all proximity. We don't want y'all in our culture. We don't want y'all in our music. We don't want y'all in our clothing. We don't want you. We don't want to do business with y'all. Watch how y'all watch how y'all go back to being third world people within America. Watch when we say we fighting for only us. Watch when we start marching and protesting and doing things saying Black American exclusivity because they take us for granted. Quite frankly. Black American culture will be better if no immigrant ever came amongst us. Not one of them. We don't need not one of them. Because look, we absorb all their crime, all their negativity, and in return, we get them fame, we get them attention, we get them popular, we get them citizenship, we, we get them rights. Nigga, we do so, like for example, Candace Owens, she's a, a Caribbean, right? Completely, she's on the whole community, right? The minute white people kick the right out, you know what I'm saying? Out her cool position. First thing she do is come back to us. The black community. The black community. Let's say this. Let's be clear. There is no Caribbeans in the black community. The black community does not concern Africans or Caribbeans. We are not in the same community. My community had no Caribbeans or Africans in it. Most black Americans don't have no Africans or Caribbeans in it. It's a shame you have to move amongst us. It's a shame you have to come and blend in with us. You have to come use our benefits, our affirmative action, our civil rights, you know, our 14th Amendment. It's a shame y'all got to do our culture to, to get fame, you know what I'm saying, and to intercept everything, every 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 blessing we get. Y'all got to come latch on, your tethering, your leeching, your, your parasites. Y'all make our culture worse by making yourself better. Our proximity gets you success. Cause on your own, not no immigrant Nick, name of faith, name some significant Trinidadians in history. Name five scientists, name five presidents, name five leaders. Nick, tell me somebody great that's Trinidadian in history. I ain't talking about half black American and, and, and I ain't talking about multi-ethnic, you know, half black. And I ain't talking about name me a full blooded Trinidadian that that's worth anything. That's famous. And see, it has to be hard when your heroes are Mike Tyson, Michael Jackson, Tupac. Like, you have nobody to look up to but Nicki Minaj, car- these garbage women these who don't like their own raps. These people are culture vultures. Culture vultures. Like, every, every, not, every black immigrant is a culture vulture. They have to use our culture to get anything. They have to use our proximity to get anything. They have to, they have to use the word black. See, if you notice, Casa not knows he's not black. He says, Y'all not Trinidadian, y'all not this, y'all not that, y'all not that, y'all just black. And he's absolutely right. We're just black. We're just American. But you know what? We're black, American, in America. And he's whatever he is in America in our proximity. Our children made him famous. <clears throat> there's, not a, there's, there, there's not enough Trinidadians to make him famous. There's not enough Caribbeans to make him famous. There's not enough Africans to make him famous in America. Black American children and white children made this doofus famous. And all he does is yell, dance. He, he it is a, It's a bunch of buffoonery, but he's famous, you know, because look, in all reality of white people will pay you to be a coon, a buffoon, or to be gay. All you gotta do is say you, LB, you LGBTQ, boom. 
million views, million followers. Look at Hassan Campbell. Nigga took all types of penises. Played penises for years in his 30s. He was he was in a relationship since he was 16 till thirty in his 30s. He's not funny. He's not witty. He's not attractive. He's not he's not stylish. He's not nothing but a sexual victim, but a, a, a homosexual. Tons of views. A nigga like me, I I, like, I barely get a thousand views. But it's fine. I'm 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 I'm, niggas, I'm black American. I ain't supposed to have these. I'm supposed to be shadow banned. I ain't supposed to get this knowledge. There's no rewards of being solid. You only get rewards for being stupid, goofy. Kasana is the modern day Pee Wee, Pee Wee Herman, Pee Wee Playhouse. This is how, how's it goes. Pee Wee Playhouse. He just goofy. He just playing games. Matter of fact, keep in mind you, he streams video games. The video console, I say the play, PlayStation, but the father of all video games was made by a black American. What did these people invent that make them significant? These are cultural vultures and it's our parents fault. And it's our fault for not telling our children that we should never support or look up to immigrants, black immigrants. We should, we, we should, we should have always said that black immigrants are the ops. Now, granted in real life, I don't feel this way in person. I don't feel like an immigrant's my op. I don't deal with him. I, I, I see somebody cool. So what's what up? I'm saying, but I don't feel like we, we ops because he's a fucking minstrel show. He's a, he's a modern day step in and fetch it. Who, who also is a Caribbean who was doing stereotypical things about black American Caribbean niggas invented being coons. These niggas are minstrels Queens flip. These academic, all these immigrant niggas are talentless and their leeches. Oh, they, they need black American culture to gain fame, to gain clout. They, they, they dress, talk, walk, just they, they imitate black Americans. These are knockoff black Americans. These are generic black Americans. These niggas are off brand black. These niggas are fake black Americans. We have no culture as he dressed like us, talk like us. And, he's, and for some reason, immigrants love saying the N word more like black. Who, who gave these niggas rights to say nigga? This is because I, I call you a nigga. Don't mean you can respond by calling me a nigga. This ain't a two ways. Who let, who let these bozo niggas say nigga? Nigga ain't even in their culture. You know, it amazes me how Caribbean niggas are the ops. Yo, all black immigrants are ops. First of all, they have no allegiance to their own country. Second of all, they don't mind white people. They, these are the most grinningest, dancingest chicken minstrel show niggas you will ever see. All these niggas got something to do with chicken. All these niggas, all they do is make black Americans look bad. We must delineate from these niggas because these niggas are both. He's a weirdo. What type of nigga, what type of grown 22 year nigga catered to kids? Look, 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 look. I know times are new. When I was 22, I was in prison for serving niggas and, 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 and doing things. Gun charges, drug charges. And, and I know that's something to be proud about. But nigga, by 16, we was doing adult things. We didn't have time to sit around yelling and screaming and dancing. That shit is corny. It, it will always be corny. It will never be cool. That shit is cool to children. Nigga, it's Pee Wee. This nigga's Pee Wee, Pee Wee Playhouse. When I was four, that should have been cool when I was four. Maybe if I was eight, Nickelodeon age, you know, we know, we know, um, Walt Disney age. This nigga's a 22 year old nigga who run around yelling, dancing and grinning. Dancing like little Uzi, a black American. Nigga making drip black American music, everything. There is nothing about these immigrant niggas that have culture. They don't do nothing in their culture. They don't dress like their culture. They don't talk. These niggas are, these niggas despise their culture. Their culture is trash. Think about these niggas culture. Are they kicking coconuts, chasing iguanas, roasting iguanas, bathing in sewage? Niggas living in shanties and huts. Nigga, nigga, when when it rains, nigga, your bed gets soaked. Nigga, you, you walk in, you walk in water. Y'all live on crates. Peasants. These niggas are these niggas are the worst. And 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 and, and I get it. Our culture is too big to, to compare with that. I said this before. These niggas cultures is really trash. What's so good about these niggas culture? Think about it. If it's so good, why don't they practice their culture? Why they practice ours? Why they been in a culture? Why they been in a country? How come we don't talk like them? How come they don't influence us? They influence the children. And, and I blame black American parents on that. Yeah, children watch this silly goofy niggas. This is a goofy nigga. This nigga run around screaming. It's a minstrel show. Fried chicken and watermelon type. And these niggas think that's funny. Immigrant immigrants are cornballs. Black immigrants are cornballs. They're all cornballs. And, and they all need us. We don't need them. Nigga, without us, they, all they can do is be fans and admirers. 
We like these niggas amongst gods and they think they gods. Niggas is peasants. Mortal humans. Talentless niggas. Stop letting these monkeys in our mix. Niggas is baboons. These niggas is chimps. These niggas is chimps. They, they, they behave like chimps. I mean, they make chimp noises. They make chimp. Like these niggas, they behave like baby chimps. Talentless. 12 year olds. Niggas, what, what, type, what type of, you gotta be a pervert weirdo to cater to children if you're a grown man. You're 22. Okay. Look at this nigga, man. Hey, bro, that streaming shit got you going crazy, man. Hey, boy! Don't talk to me like that, boy! Boy? What are you supposed to be? I'm Kratos, the god of black! And he's passing out has been getting some backlash recently and he said that you're dumb as shit if you think I make content for kids He said I make content for me and other grown-ass adults and I hate to break it to him, bro Nobody's watching this. Shit. We are grown adults. We're not watching smash and pass like half of this shit is like gen alpha humor I don't even get it no grown ass man uses this type of terminology. And it wasn't until last year that I actually figured out who this guy actually was. Honestly, the most of Kai Sinat that I see is on the TikTok for you page. And I personally don't find loud and obnoxious humor funny. This ain't even a diss to Kai Sinat. I just want him to really be aware. You make content for kids and that's just a harsh reality. I hate to break it to you, bro, but like I'm too old to be watching that. Shit. I have a life. This nigga's 22. We was in prison. We was fighting. We was cooking up. We was, we was doing things. We was buying things. This nigga's home with his parents. He's 22. Nigga, when my dad was 22, he was doing real things. My granddad was 22, he was doing real things. Type of, type of nigga around yelling and screaming and, and dancing. Immigrants. Black immigrants. Black immigrants are, listen... Black Americans are women. We're not clowns. So we can't associate with clowns. We, we, must, we must put the clown stamp on, on immigrants because they're all clowns. They're all clowns, coons, and minstrel shows. All of them. They don't mind dancing and chucking and jiving. They don't, they don't, they don't, this is just what they do. It's funny. Anything for money. Niggas a dirt eater. If it wasn't for us, niggas would be somewhere juggling coconuts. Somewhere roasting iguanas. You know what I mean, somewhere, somewhere, somewhere on, somewhere, somewhere carrying water on his head. You know what I mean, wiping his ass with leaves. Nigga, not only, not, not only is his culture whack, his culture don't have no contributions to society. Zero contributions. Zero contributions. See, when niggas need clout, they gotta bring us up. That's what he doing. He, he needs some clout. He's a bozo. He's a weirdo. Niggas are weirdo. I don't, I don't, yo, money don't make you exempt for being a weirdo. Success doesn't make you exempt for being a cornball or a weirdo. Matter of fact, if you got success, it's because you a weirdo cornball. It's because you wouldn't do some LGBT. Nigga. The only people who, who get to be successful up here is weirdos, cornballs, dorks, and LGBTQ people. And people who, who, who set out black Americans. That's the only people who ought to go viral. Most real niggas are not online. These are the dorks. I'm talking to a bunch of dorks. Dorks, there's a bunch of dorks. Niggas is, the, the internet is full of dorks, cornball, sexual predators, and weirdos. I'm talking to y'all. Now, don't get me wrong, my black Americans, y'all, y'all solid. Some you feel what I'm saying? Y'all good, I ain't talking to y'all. I'm saying, because, you know, black Americans, we don't know ones who seek knowledge, who seek, we don't know ones who expand our culture. We don't know ones who add to our culture. We don't know ones that, that, that seek truth. You know what I'm saying? So, this, I'm not talking about black Americans. I'm everybody else is not black American. A bunch of goofy motherfuckers. A bunch of haters. A bunch of y'all immigrants is watching my podcast. Y'all yeah, yeah, not black American. Y'all don't got no business being here. You're peasants. You're, 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 you're sneaky links. Y'all here, y'all here peekabooing on my shit. They ain't talking to you none of y'all. I'm just talking to black Americans. Y'all always in our proximity. Y'all always in our motherfucking way. Y'all always in our way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, your culture is irrelevant. Hey, nigga, I don't care if you Zulu. I don't care if you Egyptian. All that's irrelevant. All that thousand year, I don't give a fuck. About that, I don't give a fuck about how, how y'all from Africa, y'all proud. Ain't none of y'all proud. If you speaking, if you speaking English, none of y'all proud. If y'all in America, none of y'all proud. So none of y'all have a flag up because all y'all are peasants. All y'all are fleers. 
I'm a, I'm a freedman. Y'all a flea man. I'm going to call y'all fleas. A bunch of y'all that goes, oh, yeah, that was flea. Y'all want opportunities y'all ain't even work for. They come to America for better opportunities y'all ain't even work for. Then talk shit about the people who made opportunities for y'all. Peasants. Parasites. Parasites. Y'all only, y'all only, y'all, y'all, y'all not really black, but y'all say y'all black because y'all can't be white. If y'all had a choice to be black or white, y'all motherfuckers would put white. No matter your skin color, y'all, y'all would want to be white. I'm glad I'm black. I always been glad I'm black. I grew up in a black household. I grew up in a black community. I got black grandparents. I have black great grandparents. Nigga, I see black people on TV. I see black people in school. I see nigga. All I know is black people. I never had to meet an immigrant. I never found, I don't find nothing fascinating about Caribbean culture or African culture. Never did. It was never cool to be none of that. It was never cool, cool to smell like none of that. It was never cool to dress like none of them. There was, yo, in no due respect though, I'm going to give Haiti their props. Haiti have, you know, no, Haiti have their, Haiti have their thing. They have their people, they have their revolution. They have their, you know what I'm saying? Jamaicans are a big influence in the world, second to black Americans. They go, I, I figure it go, black Americans, Jamaicans, and Nigerians. It's like the biggest, you know, um, African diaspora people we got. I'm saying, I get you, Jamaica got culture, they got style, Jamaicans got their own way of, Talking way of thinking, Jamaica. Jamaica I, I'll give it to Jamaica. I'm, I'm saying they got these things. It, it be kind of fly sometimes. You know what I'm saying, but you know, I don't. I don't. I never wanted dreads. You no, know, smoking weed was cool, but I mean, I like beef patties. And 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 the women, first of all, Caribbean women are fire. I'm not gonna say I like Caribbean women do some beautiful bitches. I don't know how because that's some ugly ass niggas. I like the worst looking niggas, but make some of the beautiful bitches. It's so confusing. Anyway, I I, I, I would give. Jamaica, their props. I would give Nigerian their props. Because in, in, in all reality is, a Nigerian invented the internet. They got points on the board. Trinidadians ain't got no points on the board. Yeah, they got some beautiful whores. Yeah. Y'all bring, y'all bring that feather culture here. It's cool. Yeah. But what, what you really got? What are you proud of? Oh, you proud you came from somewhere? You're not proud because you're not there. So that that's not even true. You can't be. Like, I'm, I'm a proud black American. Guess where I'm at? Nigga, I am where I was born. I, my mother was born here. Grandparents are from the South. But you know, the migration, you know, the opportunities that, that we fought for. You know, we, see, my, my grandparents moved for opportunities that they fought for because, you know, their land was taken from the KKK and all that. It's a whole different story, but, you know, real black American shit. All right, so enough about these peasants, I'm saying. You know, because Kasanat, he, he, he got his money. He's famous for being Pee Wee Herman. I guarantee you in the future, he's going to get sexual assault charges on children. Because you know why? Because everybody who deal with children, because he attract children. His audience is children. It's like niggas 21 and younger from like, you know, children. Little kids can watch that Pee Wee Herman Playhouse shit. It's like Nickelodeon. It's like it's, it's, like, it's a fun house. It's, you got people dancing. You got immigrants. It's like a, you know, it's a, he's like a gateway for, you know, this, this new this new generation. I don't know how. He had to be put, he had to be put there. There's no, there's no reason why he's doing anything a black American. I mean, he works hard. He, got, he, he goes hard, but. There's no way a black uh, a, a black immigrant should have any influence in our black American culture in America. But on to different things. The second biggest thing is Drake versus Kendrick Lamar. 